What is happening, everybody? Welcome back for some more Lies of P. We are back in the factory, picking up right where we left off. So this is by the first Stargazer, and we're gonna set off to the left area first. That was by, like, this poison uh, pool with the giant machine, with the giant puppet. There's a couple of different paths where we can go this way. Look out. Staggered me. Probably didn't need to heal there. Oh, he got me. Darn it. Wasting so much health on this guy. We're just gonna have to restart. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep going. That's okay. We'll survive. So we opened up a shortcut over here on this pipe. Uh, in the last episode, my stream cut out right before I did that. So there's a lever over here which we use to get over here. Um, and we are... Let me come back. Here we go. Just wanted to show you we're... Right near the red fox. And this uh, black cat. That we were talking to before my stream cut out in the last episode. So we could go this way. That's a dead end. Um, also up here, I'm not sure that we explored every direction we could go up here. So we went this way. Which led us to the shortcut. But I don't think we investigated this area. Let's check it out. Benimi, pull yourself together. Have a duty to this city and to your own sterling reputation. All right, Venini. So is this another one of those shield robots? Oh no, this is something completely different. Something that could probably totally kick the crap out of us. Oh, that's why it's so dark. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Not that it makes that much of a difference, but it's something. It's a little side path here. So when we want to fight that guy, we could do a jump down from here. And attack him that way. Get the first couple hits on him, at least. Something shooting at us. Oh, yes, there is. Gotcha. Man, this area is pretty cool. This game looks good in HDR. I'm not like super impressed, but the graphics are very polished. I gotta say, it's been running super smooth on the PC. 
Not a lot of glitches, etc. Haven't really run into any problems. I like the sound effects too. I mean, it's got a lot of creepy, soulsy, ambient sounds. All right, so we definitely want to fight this guy. Did we go check up here? A little help, anyone? Is this Fedini? No way! It's got to be him, right? Who oh, is he now? Don't it is him. Me. Surely we can discuss this like reasonable people. Hold on. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? The name's Pinocchio. I, I, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler Pulcinella. He's a puppet. Pulcinella. And a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. So I guess we don't get the option to not Before find his all butler. This, uh, <laughs> this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral. Nice. How did this nightmare come to be? Please. Must stop him before he does any more harm. So maybe this is the, uh... So maybe that's the, uh, main bad guy? That we gotta go after? Fuoco? Hey, that's where we came in at. Well, I don't know if we're going to make it, but if we don't want to have to kill all these other puppets over again, we should just go fight this guy now. Let's wait for him to come right here. Oh, we're overheating. Smashed me. Damn! I kept trying to dodge. I couldn't move. We actually took a pretty decent little chunk of health off of him. From those few hits. Oh well, I guess all the other puppets are back. We'll have to start from scratch. So let's see. Overheat occurs when fire damage builds up both your character and the monsters will take increased fire damage and receive continuous fire damage. In addition, monsters will experience slower natural HP recovery. Your character's guard retain recovery amount will decrease. The higher your fire resistance, the slower the overheat gauges charge speech. speed. Purification ampule removes status ailments. Do we have any of those? Purification, ampule, attribute, purification, ampule. Okay, we got five of them. I don't know if we want to use any of them on that, but we've got some. So we should attack this guy again and fight him in the same corner. 
Um, I don't think anybody's gonna run at us over here. There we go. Darn it. Dude! I, I was like stun locked. If he hits you with that, you are dead. So next time he... <laughs> next time this guy turns red, I'm just holding down the run button. There is no sense to try and block that. That's a tough ask. It's craziness. Did we take damage from that fall? Damn. He did it. He got us again. What the heck, dude? This overheat is ridiculous, dude. So, man, as should we put something in to like increase our resistance? I'm trying to think about how we want to go about this. Yeah, we did lose like a third of like a quarter of our health from that little jump. That guy's throwing stuff all the way from across the map. Stunned him. Get out of there. back up almost got I didn't want to get stun locked again like we did last time Woo. For a great sword, our reach is pretty low. Overheat got us. Ugh. See, that's the problem. It sucks fighting that guy when all these puppets are throwing fireballs at you. We really do need to kill them all again and then go after him. That's so annoying. We totally had him if it wasn't for those guys. We definitely did. But that's the way to do it, for sure. We gotta play smart, right? There's nobody at this spot? I guess not. Oh, shoot. We gotta jump down.
These guys. Punk. Okay, where is he? There he is. I think we need to go back up though, right? Yeah, because we didn't get these guys on that are directly above where we are now. Unfortunately. We screwed that part up. Alright, let's go up and around. Man, what is that thing? It looks cool. It's like a... Plasma pool or something. Poison, maybe? There we go. Now, I don't know if these guys could throw anything at us. Doesn't look like it. Whatever. It was still worth it to take them out. Is he under us? Where is he? Ah, oh, damn it. Can we get a crit hit on him? Nope. How did that hit me? I guess it was a poor dodge. That was... I could, like, never go for two hits against these guys. Man. There we go. Gotcha. Workshop Union Standard Radiation Cover. Whatever that means. Um, it looked like it was a crank. So this was the way in, right, from the other direction. Yeah, and there's the shortcut. So let's go back this way. Let's go up. Um, yeah. Let's go up. Let's go back to the Stargazer. And let's go level up. So we'll level up and then we're going to go through that room that we were just in. We're going to go straight through that room and see what's ahead of it. But before that, I think what we got was a crank, maybe. No, this was it. Physical damage reduction. Fire damage reduction goes up a lot. Fire resistance goes up a lot. 
but acid resistance and electric resistance go down. So it's good for fire resistance. I think we should switch it. I mean, seeing where we are in the game. I don't know I'm about this axe, though, that we got. Do we want to upgrade the axe at all? Seems like it has the same attack power, right? So this would go up to 122. Is there a speed? Let me check the speed difference again. Oh, I can't do it right now. We'll have to- we'll- we'll play with that. We'll play with that. I'm not ready to switch yet. For now, let's level up. Let's do... advance. Give us some more resistance, right? Maybe we should go back here, the culvert. See, now there's a couple different ways we can go, but that one might be moving us further along. I kind of want to spider web through and move through, F move forward in every direction a little bit at a time. If that makes sense. Oops. Okay, so this area we went through and we got some upgrades in there I don't think we fully explored this way These guys are so slow. I don't know that we even need to mess with them, really. Did we go this way before? Oh. Okay. It's almost like a shortcut. Around that little uh, beginning part. Oh, these guys are coming. Their attacks are so weird to telegraph. Alright, got him. So here's where we let the uh, ladder down. We got this giant boss in here. And a chest. It'd be nice if we could get a hold of some kind of uh, poison resistance. Ring, poison immunity, amulet, something like that. There we go. He's still alive? Oh no, he's not. And we got a chest over there, so we're good there. Okay. So this just let us out by our buddies. How do we stop that thing, boys? Alright, let's move forward. Gotcha. Oh yeah, I wanted to test this axe again. So the only problem... So the axe is faster. The only problem is... The reach isn't going to be quite as good. That slash is nice, but... 
Hmm. We're gonna have to think about this. And in that situation right there, you got two guys right next to each other. Boom, you slash the axe. You hit both of them. So that part would be nice in opposed to the, uh, the stab move. Make sure no one's coming behind us, too. It's kind of creepy. Is this going to break? It's going to break, isn't it? Hey, it didn't break. Place is a maze. Trying to make sure we don't miss anything, but it's tough. Oops, didn't want to waste one of those. All right, anything else over here? So this is where we would have jumped off that little bridge before. Shortcut. If it lets me. Get out of there. Get out of there. this overheat <sighs> I really screwed that up <laughs> we made it though we got the door open <laughs> Good. That wasn't good. Oh, this three. That three prong attack gets me. Let go of block right at the last second. 
Oh, he got me. All right. Let's do this. Did I ever say that I hated this guy? Gotcha. Swordsmanship Master's Amulet. So what do we got? Puppet Destroyers increases damage inflicted on puppets. Increases max HP. Swordmaster reduces weapon durability consumption. Nah. I'm glad that guy's dead though. And we got the shortcut open. What did that do? Did it do something out here by this guy? By these guys? I don't know. So we never went to this right direction back here. Let's check it out. We could open that door. So we've come across a couple other similar doors. Where is this at? I don't know if that's a shortcut or if that's taking us somewhere new. The Trinity Key! Hey! Oh, that's light off. We're supposed to get some good stuff in here, I think. What's this say? Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed by a puppet? I think that's what it said. Three, create one. You who opened the door. What did it say? Be one with, be one with the great ones. Okay. Sure. I'll be great, bro. Blue Blood's tail coat. Oh, and some quartz. Can't take the book, huh? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm just sharpening up. Check it out. Is this where we fought the guy with the two shields? The two shield robot?
Looks awfully familiar. Yeah, it was. Okay. So what I want to do is go back. Back up and then keep going forward in that same direction. We almost only have a couple ways left that we can go to go forward now. So that was a good pickup getting some quartz though. We're gonna need to level up soon. Punks! Oops, I didn't want to use that. Man, the items are sometimes confusing in this game. Was that it? Yeah. And that was down back by that bridge. We already went over there. We pulled that lever. That did something. Obviously. We just don't know what. I wonder if it opened a door or something down there. There is no door there. Which way do we go? So I think we want to go up. And then to the right. Oh. Should have known that was going to happen. I haven't been over here. Doctor's Confessions. Anything in these coffins? Can I break them? place is a mess. Have you seen this eccentric? Hot off the press. Should we go down? We only have one health, but it's better than zero health. I must atone for my sins. All puppets must die. Every single whoa, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy guy. I, I, I hear the sound of springs inside you. You're a puppet too. Uh -oh. You can't fool me. All puppets must die. Kill the puppets. I'd Suck on that, dude. I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. That's what we need to do. Just keep getting backstabs on him. Uh, 
Whoa, nice move, dude. This guy's tough. Needed more healing items, that's for sure. Guy was good. We had a lot of ergo on us, too. So we gotta get back to that guy. Uh, which way was it? Hey, this is the other side of the giant... ...thing over there. I think we wanna go up on this side. Or do we want to go up on the other side? I don't know anymore. Like, where's the closest stargazer to that guy we just fought? Let's see if we can at least pick up what we lost and run away from that guy. He's not hard to get back to. It wasn't too bad. Known. Oh, it's a ride a hell of its own. Huh. There we go. And we could get a double slash on him here. At least I thought we could. I wish I hadn't run away. Come on, baby. Gotcha. Stalker's promise, survivor's mask, survivor's hunting apparel. Guy was just sitting in here smoking cigarettes, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So now... 
Oops, didn't want to waste that. Great, great idea. So now this area is officially explored. Dead end in there. So we got two ways left that we can go. Through here, to the other side. And I don't think it's gonna lead us anywhere, but down past this huge giant boss guy. We got some goodies we can grab. We can see if we can grab them. I think the best way is to get up to the stargazer that's up here. Because we could jump down, right? Yeah, let's do that. We're more likely than not going to die trying to get those things. At least a couple of times, so. Um, let's get to the stargazer. Let's regroup. Back to the hotel. We'll level up. Maybe level up the axe a little bit. We could do some experimenting. We got some new... Um, armor and clothing, etc., that we could experiment with too. Okay. First. Oh, and we got some quartz. I know my way around a weapon. Assemble weapons. So, what else can we do? So we got the axe. So we can use any of these handles. This will give us the high motivity, but that's... Ooh, maybe that's a good idea. We switch this high motivity handle over to with the axe. But for now, we leave it because the axe is weak. Great sword. Yes, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's boost this axe up. So we need three more hidden moonstone, or four hidden moonstone. And when we get crescents, maybe we'll save them for the axe. So this one, one more upgrade gets it to 155. One more gets this one to 144. So yeah, I think they're the same. Same strength. So it's just preference of which one you like more. Legion arm, is there anything we could do to level these up yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, that's like a... Practice little battleground there. Okay, next. Let's go to Geppetto. Geppetto! We got more quartz. Boy, I like how when we run over here, it doesn't consume any stamina. Pretty neat. Alright, Geppetto. Suit me up. What do we got? Link dodge enables another dodge in the middle of a motion. Staggerable window. Pulse cells. Plus one. Fable slots one. Let's do... Ooh, that's a tough choice, man. I don't know that there's really a wrong choice. For now, let's do this one. Ability type, item type. Increases ergo upon eliminating an enemy. I like it. 
I think we need another quartz for this, right? Or do we get to pick two slots per quartz? Yeah. Still good. It's still good. It's still good. Now let's just level up. I'll use my power to Sophia, my babe. Going to advance. And do we have enough? No, 1542, we need 2900. So we need another um what is that? 1400 Okay. Should be easy. 1400, we got two of these. One of those and one of those and I think we need 3000 so we won't have enough for any more levels after this. We could just do one more. Do we want to do motivity? Vigor. Increase our stamina? Might be useful. Let's do that. All right, I think this is a good spot. We are going to uh, wrap this episode up here. And in the next one, we're going to keep moving through the factory. Take it easy, everybody.